All right, what's good? It's your man, James, yet again, a.k.a. at J underscore 1010XL, as you all know me on Twitter, of Inside Edge Sports, coming to you all live here. Second official video of the Draft Breakdown series. I already explained what's going on here last week. This week around, we're going to be talking about second round pick Jonathan Cyprian of Florida International University. Um, just a little bit on him before we go into the video and other things here. Uh, was highly regarded, was thought to be a first round pick. However, he slid down to the Jaguars in the second round pick, and they simply felt it was opportunity that they couldn't pass on, and they drafted him. Um, he'll likely be our strong, uh, our starting strong safety, and uh, he fits Gus Bradley's defense like a glove, all right? Now, before we get into the actual video content, I want to first of all thank all our viewers and subscribers and everybody that goes to the site and give us their feedback and watch the videos and what have you. We really appreciate that. And I want to thank Aaron Aloasis for streaming this content and uh, basically giving me permission to use it. All right. So without further ado, we're going to get into the breakdown here of Jonathan Cyprian. All right, so here I have it freeze frame so I can explain what's going on here. Um, basically, if you all seen Jonathan Cyprian's highlights, the first thing that's going to stick out to you is his ability as a tackler, as a hard hitter. Now, that's part of the reason why he was drafted high, and he's also a nice size, weight, and speed specimen. He's a bright kid, you know, and he can be solid in coverage, too. So basically, here in this clip, what you have is Ted, Teddy Bridgewater dumping the ball off to his slot receiver, and Cyprian gets there a split second after the receiver catches the ball and lays a nice, clean, legal hit on him, jarring the ball loose for incompletion. All right, so what you have here is, uh, I have it freeze frame yet again, but basically um, what you have here is yet another hard hit on Cyprian's part. As you will see, um, he comes across the field, lays a nice hit on the receiver again that he was flagged for for some reason, which um, when I looked at it on replay, I don't see what he was flagged for. It didn't seem to be like helmet to helmet or whatever. But anyway, this is just yet another clip showcasing his ability as a hard hitting safety. Now, in this next cut is basically the last cut that I'm going to be doing, highlighting his tackling and his hard hits because he has so many hard hits that if I just highlighted them all, I'll be going on forever. He has just that many. But in this one, this is a game against Florida Atlantic where they basically try to throw a running back screen and Jonathan Cyprian sniffs it out like immediately and lays a nice hit on their running back. You guys got to see this. Now here is the play, the screenplay, should I say, from a better angle. Now if you look at it, you'll see that Cyprian, this is great intelligence on his part as he sits back and assesses what's going on here. He's also trailing the running back while doing that. Now he sees that this wide receiver is going for a crackback block on his linebacker, on his fellow linebacker. He also sees this offensive lineman coming out to block for the running back, assessing that this is a screen. Now, the wide receiver probably should have picked up Cyprian, but either way, whether he picked up Cyprian or the linebacker, it was a bad play from the jump, and it was going to be a play for loss. So basically, he decides to get the linebacker, and Cyprian makes them pay dearly as he lays a nice hit on their running back. Now, this next cut, I basically broke down because I feel that an underrated aspect of Cyprian's game is his coverage skills. Now, granted his size and his the numbers he put up at the combine, you know, you would look at that and you would think that he's better suited for uh, strong safety, which is where the Jaguars will use him and which he is very well suited for. But I seem to think he could also play free safety if needed. 
Um, right here is a, uh, basically he picks off Teddy Bridgewater, and I basically broke this cut down because I feel like it shows great range on his part, as you can see. He almost comes from the middle of the field and cuts this route off for an interception here. Now, as I said, I think that Cyprian has good enough coverage skills to play free safety if need be. Keyword, if need be, meaning in case of emergency or if somebody goes down or what have you, you know, they'll have him as a as a second option, basically. Now, most analysts tend to agree with that notion that he is solid in coverage for the most part. But I've often seen some an analysts say that he's a liability in deep coverage, being that he bites on play fakes or play action often. Now, in this next cut. You'll see he's caught peeking in the backfield and he kind of freezes as he's looking at the play action and the receiver runs right past him in a deep post or whatever. Now, I believe they're in some sort of cover two on this side of the field, at least, and that the cornerback probably should have jammed the receiver a little bit better instead of letting him run upfield freely. Yet and still, Cyprian gets caught peeking in the backfield when he should have possibly been backpedaling and he could have covered this better. Now, this next play isn't necessarily something that Cyprian did wrong continuously. It was just something that caught my eye that he did wrong in the cuts that I was watching. And here is what you have is a slot receiver uh, goes to the back of the end zone or whatever, and Teddy Bridgewater actually throws a back shoulder fade to him, which is actually underthrown if you look at it. Now, being that it's underthrown, if Cyprian could have got his head around and saw the ball, it was reachable and he could have deflected it, preventing the seven points here. And we know in today's age in uh, the NFL and what have you, sometimes seven points can be the deciding factor of the game. And Cyprian could have could have prevented this had he got his head around and saw the ball coming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. A draft breakdown video by Inside Edge Sports on Jonathan Cyprian. Great pickup. You have the pros, you have the cons. Likely our starting safety. I can't wait to see him on the field, and I think he'll be a jag for the years to come. Thank you for tuning in. Um, feel free to subscribe. Check out the page, insideedgesports.wordpress.com, and that's it.